And now, we have what I hope will be the first of many magical moments at Audiology Now for you. Our next guest has indeed inspired millions of Americans with his personal story about overcoming the challenges of hearing loss. Put in the context of this year's Super Bowl and against the backdrop of a demanding professional career as a super athlete, his story is one of perseverance, determination, inspiration, and success. They told me it couldn't be done, that I was a lost cause. I was picked on and picked last. Coaches didn't know how to talk to me. They gave up on me. Told me I should just quit. And the last pick is... They didn't call my name. Told me it was over. But I've been deaf since I was three. So I didn't listen. And now I'm here with a lot of fans in the NFL cheering me on. And I can hear them all. Join me in welcoming somebody who has come all the way from the West Coast to meet you, Derek Coleman, this year's Super Bowl championship team. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. <laughs> I told you they were going to be really excited <laughs> that you were here. <laughs> okay. Derek, you have shown the world through your career um, how, how hearing loss is what you make of it. And you have definitely made yourself successful. Can you tell us a little bit about your childhood and what you went through as a child with hearing loss? I think the biggest thing that um, I had a childhood like everybody else in this room has. Um, you know, we all had to overcome something. Um, I had to overcome hearing loss. Some people have to overcome, you know, um, they can't really see well or may have ADD. Everybody has something. Um, every kid has been picked on and, you know, it can't be a hypocrite. Everybody here has maybe picked on somebody else before. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, you know, I always stuck to what I love to do. Um, you know, I was always a foot junkie. I always really wanted to go active and do certain things, and, and I didn't let anything derail me. Um, you know, I had a really good support system. My parents, uh, my family, my brother, my sister, um, all the way to my uncles. Everybody always supported me. When nobody else would, you know, they always told me it doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter uh, whether they say you can't do this or you can't do that. It only matters what you think. The only person that and you know, growing up as a Christian, the only person, the only opinion that matters is yourself and God. And um, at the end of the day, that it just stuck with me all through my whole life. Thank you. Derek, uh, we know you've had several challenges to overcome throughout your football career, including the coach's difficulty in communicating with you. How did you and your coaches overcome that obstacle? I think the biggest thing it really started was when I was little. You know, it wasn't, it didn't really start on the field or in the coaches. It really started when I was little. And it really started with my mom. Uh, the biggest thanks to that. She always told me um, when you first get into a classroom or you first get into any setting, let the person know. Let them know that, you know, I, you can't hear well, so you may, some things you may need to be repeated or um, they need to speak up louder when they talk to you or make sure you're looking at me so I can reach your lips or something like that. Um, and just be straight up. From the first day you're there and 
that happened in the classroom, that also happened in football. From the first day I was with the coaches or the quarterback or whoever I'm dealing with in every sport I played, the first day I let them know, hey, I have hearing loss. I may not be able to hear you all the time. I may, need, I may grab you, tell you to repeat it. Don't get offended or anything like that. I'm just trying to know what's being said. Um, and you can't be embarrassed to say that because at the end of the day, we all want to know what's going on. Nobody here <laughs> wants to be left out of anything. Especially in your position. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm nosy, so I definitely need to know everything. <laughs> um, so, and the biggest thing is I can read lips. You know, I never really had to learn sign language or anything. It was just reading lips just came naturally to me. So as long as you just turn around and face me, I just let them know. Just turn around and face me and just say what you have to say, and we can go about our business and do what we have to do. Um, to be successful in everything we're doing. Thank you. As president of the American Academy of Audiology, I have created a new category of recognition by our academy, the Inspiration Award. And Derek, we have selected you as our first recipient of this reward, award. Thank you so much for showing us how striving for excellence truly impacts results. Congratulations, Derek. It has meant so much to us to have you here. Standing ovation. <laughs> I'd like to thank Derek for being with us and also to thank Duracell for assisting us in making this magic moment a reality.